Grenades are a crucial part of CS, but most players don't even know the different types of throws or how to use them correctly. I've split this video into two key parts, the first being grenade mechanics. Jump throws, left click, right click, pop flashes, run throw buttons, there are so many mechanics behind the use of grenades. Let's start with left plus right click. By using your left and your right mouse button you can throw a grenade at 5 different distances. Long, medium long, medium, medium short and short. Now you're probably thinking, why do I need this? Well, let's say you're on B site and you want to pop flash someone who's right here. If you use the left click, the enemy will see the flash before it pops. So he can react and turn. If you use the right click, you can't throw it that high unless you jump, but that will make noise. But if you use the medium short throw, you can get the distance just right, making it harder for the enemy to turn away and giving you enough time to peek. This doesn't just apply to flashes. It's the same for grenades, mollies and smokes. To throw a grenade at the longest distance, just use your left click, and to throw it at the shortest, use your right click. To throw it at the medium range, hold your left and right mouse button at the same time and let go. To throw it at the medium long, you hold your left click, then hold right and let go. You will see that your hand starts to move from a long to a short throw. And to throw it at the medium short distance, you do the opposite. Hold right click, then left and let go. There is also another key forgotten mechanic that was very popular back in the day and can be very useful in tight situations. It's called the grenade bounce. Now hold on, hold on. it's not just throwing the grenade down on the floor. Well, it, it is, but there's a trick to it, just look. If you're ever behind a box and somebody's pushing you, you can crouch walk backwards and left click throw. This will cause the grenade to bounce very high, catching the enemies off guard and allowing you to peek them. And the last part of this section is to do with lineup binds. After the release of CS2's new subtick system, the need to use jump throw binds or run throw binds isn't as useful because it's easier to consistently throw grenades. However, you still can miss them which is the reason as to why many pros continue to use these binds as they can be crucial to winning rounds. A jump throw is one of the longest throws in the game, which allows pros to make cross map lineups especially now that there is no skybox. So being able to consistently throw these lineups is detrimental. To bind the jump throw bind, just paste the following into your console line by line and then at the end change the alt to whatever bind you want it to be. You can also just add this to your config instead of pasting it in your console. Now if you left click and then click your jump throw bind, you will jump throw. If you want to know if you've successfully jump throwed, there is actually a small click that you can hear. Let's move on to the second part of this video, tricks you need to know and mistakes that most people make. But first, what's the point of knowing all of these tricks if you don't look good when you're throwing grenades? With Skins Monkey, you can trade your skins for a nice pair of gloves. As well as this, you're able to enter the daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways completely for free. If you want to trade your skins quickly with no hardships, Skins Monkey is your solution, and they will solve any problems using their 24 seven support. Thank you, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. Make sure to use code SEAMAN. One of the biggest mistakes people make with grenades is to not bind them. If you're in a tense situation or you get a molly thrown at you, you want to quickly be able to pull out your smoke instead of having to flick through all of your grenades. This is a huge time saver and could even save you from getting killed. The next big mistake most people make is randomly buying grenades with no intention. What's the point of buying free grenades if you're going to play aggressive and die before using the grenades? It's better to buy the grenades that you intentionally plan on using before you die. For example, if I want to play aggressive, I might just buy a flash and a decoy rather than a flash, smoke and a molotov. This will also help you out with your eco, as most of the grenades won't go to waste. The next big tip you need to be abusing is HE grenades on pistol rounds. A grenade can do a maximum of 98 damage to a player with no armor. When a player does have armor, you can do half this damage. Most people don't buy armor on pistol rounds. So when they play very aggressive on A ramp in Mirage, you're better off throwing grenades rather than molotovs. On the topic of molotovs, incendiary grenades versus molotovs. If you didn't know, molotovs are better than incendiary grenades. Not only do they last longer and do more damage, but they are also cheaper and have a wider spread. And the last and most important tip I can give you is to do with your mindset. You need to understand that grenades serve the following four purposes. They allow you to obscure enemy vision, set up kills, create distractions and anchor sights. Once you begin to consciously use grenades to achieve these four things, your gameplay will improve tremendously. If you have any other cool tips, drop a comment to help the community. As I walk through the valley where I harvest my grain, I take a look at my wife and